hello welcome welcome back to my channel welcome to my video my name is Leanne if you don't know today I have a different setup I'm using uh, I'm here in my master bedroom in the corner of it I wanted to try something different I didn't like I wasn't too satisfied with the background that I use for all of my videos which is downstairs in the dining room area the lighting is horrible too many distracting uh, background noises so I wanted to try and find an area in my home where I can find some peace some quiet um, a setting where I can gather my thoughts better but it's probably not that big of a huge difference I so I do have a haul to share with all of you I'm happy to report that my huge Kay's scented melt sale order has arrived and so I'm ready to share with all of you my goodies this is probably one of the biggest wax purchases I've ever done and if it weren't for a couple of youtubers but mostly because of Myla uh, I've watched her collection videos on Kay's and her saying that Kay's scented melt is one of her top three vendors I think just made me think okay Maybe I do need to try this vendor. And it just so happens that I joined her Facebook group. And then not shortly long afterwards, she was going to have a sale. And uh, I've been hugely influenced. I love uh, the customer service. I had so many different changes to my order that she's honored it. Um, and I'm different concerns I had with my order she was able to take care of it so she communicates so well just send her an email and she'll get back to you I what else is there I need to say um I think that's it I don't remember what else I was going to say oh I did combine this order from so my huge uh sale order I was had a lot of downtime to watch everyone's hay scented melt hauls videos and had FOMO so I went ahead and placed another order I asked her if I could combine it and she's like yeah no problem just just I just had to go ahead and email her to let her know of that and she was able to do it so that's great I've not yet to open this package but we shall unbox it together okay so this was according to my ups details this was 33 pounds so let's see if i can even lift this box to show you it's like a uh, it's like a huge box inside like a well i did open it just to see what was inside but it's like a huge box and in it is are more boxes so that's never happened before so right off the bat i can tell that they take great care in mailing your packages, making sure everything is arrived safe and sound and not damaged. Uh, so let's take out this packing paper. This packing, not paper, but these packing bubble protection. Okay, so there's three packages in this one huge box. Let me go ahead and open the this small one of the two I hope you're all have, are doing well and uh, everything is going well for you having a great day I I'm just so excited to finally get my case scented um, order that I placed August 5th it feels like a long way for me because I've been anticipating it for a while but she has a great turnaround time she's just been so swamped with hundreds of orders that came in for for sale so I cannot believe that they're able to send this out within uh, a couple of weeks so that's great I can smell everything once I open that box within the box I could actually smell I get a little whiff of these wax goodies so I don't know what I'm smelling but it just smells like a different variety of wax scents I've opened this and I, I see couple of samples let's see my invoice Ooh, yes a lot of changes done to this order yeah i see you can see a little notes right there 
my invoice, my packing slip. And so let's dive right in. I think these are samples that she said. So let's just go ahead and do the samples first. Strawberry milkshake. It says philosophy type, creamy, sweet, smooth strawberry. Okay, so this is my first order. Excited. Wanted to see what's about. Oh, yes. So it's, you know, it definitely smells like strawberry, like authentic. Well, it smells like a strawberry milkshake. Like, like fresh strawberry, like there was like fresh fruit in this milkshake itself. That's what I get, like hints of fresh strawberry. And then that like strawberry milkshake, that little artificial scent, but it's not so bad. Because there's like, I don't know how they captured it, but there's like, like I can even detect like fresh fruit amidst amongst the like strawberry milkshake it's that's interesting but i like this creamy sweet smooth strawberry mm, i didn't know this but her wax is very soft to the touch um so yeah I, I like that she's so generous with her samples i cannot believe oh just, uh, i'm already loving this company uh, so here is rosemary and mint, the clamshell. Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure if I, not sure if I ordered this, but here, let's take a sniff. I don't remember what I ordered. I did. Wow. Yeah, so it's it smells like rosemary and mint, typical herbal rosemary and mint scent. I like this. This is soothing for me. So if I'm ever having like feeling not so great or feeling like I have headaches, I feel like this is great to pop in the warmers and just take it slow. Mm, I think it's great for nighttime too. That's great. Even when I'm feeling sick, I feel like this is also great to pop in those warmers. Rosemary Mint. I love the labels. So cute. It's simple with the bird and the tree. I like that. Okay. Bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, Bath and Body Works type. So this is bourbon, strawberry, apricot, nectar, and vanilla. Oh, I can just feel like the love and care put into this. They're amazing duo. Carla. Oh, I don't even mention who the owner was. Carla is the owner of K Scented Melt, and she has a wonderful helper. Her name is Connie. You can find them both in her Facebook page. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, you can see their names there. Oh, wait. And my address, huh? Carla and Connie, they're like the two main workers. I'm not sure if she operates and have a, has her own team that makes this wax, but from what I know, it's mostly Carla and Connie. Okay, bourbon, strawberry, vanilla. Mm. So I definitely get strawberry, but it's not the most prominent scent in here. Is that bourbon? Is that what it smells like? It's a little musky. I'm not sure if it's a bourbon, but there's also other fruits in here. There's apricot, nectar, and vanilla. Hmm. Yeah, I mostly get strawberry, vanilla. It's such a creamy strawberry, vanilla. And there's like other fruit notes to it. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not sure what bourbon is supposed to smell like in wax either. Sandy Boom Booms, which is island fresh gain, coconut milk, and boom boom. I don't know what to make of that shape. Is that a tree? It comes with like three of these shapes here. Wow, that's 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 really good. So it is a little laundry, but the laundry you no know, is well balanced with like this tropical coconut milk and boom boom. That's actually very good. I would consider this 
ordering this in the future. Sandy Boom Boom. It's like a laundry take on Boom Boom, but it's not super laundry. It's just so well balanced. There's, you can detect the coconut milk and Boom Boom. That's good. I like that. Memories Past, which is orange, almond scone, cranberry orange, and Fraser fur. This nice Christmas tree. I don't celebrate Christmas, but I love and enjoy the holiday scents. And this is no different. This is... Oh, this is good. There's a bakery aspect to this. Definitely detect like a good bakery. Yeah, the orange scone is there. It's like bakery. And then there's like... A hint, ever so a hint of like a tree, but it's mostly, I get it's the orange scone. Oh. Cranberry orange, yeah. It made, it made the orange almond scone, that bakery, very bakery note, made it more fruitier. And then there's just a very, ever so hint of like a tree, Fraser fir. That's actually very good. I would consider this too in the future. Memories pot, that's very nice. Crystal Lake. Oh, I actually included this. I don't know if I ordered this. I might not have, but it was definitely on my list that I wanted to try. It is Midnight Waters, Pine Cones, and Autumn Flannel. So I get these three shapes. Oh, wow. These are owls. I love owls. Cute little owls. Hmm. Yeah, I, I get a little bit of woodsy water, little trees, notes here, like I'm in a lake, and I'm surrounded by trees, and there's water. That's what I get from here. Hmm, that's great. That's fresh. Pine cones. Not, not sure what's autumn flannel. But it's nice, fresh, clean. I like that. Okay, that's good. I'm loving all the samples that she sent. That's amazing. I would definitely consider these in for future orders. Apple cider donuts. And then I get like three little apples. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I get apple cider. And yeah, there's a donut aspect to it. A little fried, but mostly what I get is apple cider and a hint of donuts. That's very good. I like that. Crackling fire. Yes. I kept going back and forth with this scent. Like, do I really need a clam of this or do I not? I'm, I'm kind of... I like my smoky scents, but anything way too smoky, I'm like, hmm. I think I would use it as a blender if anything like that. Wow, that is okay. So that is how they captured smoky scents. That smells good. Um, I mean, I mean, I don't think I need this in huge quantities. And these cute little cards. Yeah, it's very smoky. I definitely get like these jerky vibes off of this. That's what I get. So there could be like leather. I know I know there, there's like a little bit of leather notes in here. I can smell that leather. And I don't know what else is in here, but oh that is interesting. I'm definitely getting beef jerky vibes. That's great. That's unique. I would I really actually melt this. I feel like on its own it's a little too unique for too unique for me. I probably, yeah, I probably mix this with other scents or blend it in the background with other scents going on. Yeah, I have to think about that one. But I would definitely, definitely try that out. Honeymoon Hideaway, Exotic Coconut, Cali Lily, and Butt Naked. Honeymoon Hideaway. This is beautiful. I'm trying to not to make a mess, but I have carpet right below me. 
But that looks like a, uh, it looks like a beautiful succulent of some sort. A flower. Beautiful. I would also consider ordering this too. So it reminds me like tropical. Like I do get tropical fruits. It's like a beautiful tropical fruity. There's something spa like about this too. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh man, I would definitely consider this in a clam. Oh, they're all good. I can see why this is like a favorite now. Her scents are and blends are really good. Raspberry peach macaroon. <laughs> Little things. I don't celebrate Halloween, but it doesn't mean I don't enjoy like. These type of things. I like watching horror movies, but sometimes it's a little too spooky for me. I can't remember the last horror movie that I've watched, honestly. Oh, this is so bakery. Such a yummy bakery. It reminds me of like, so this is raspberry peach macaroon. Yeah, it reminds me of the peach bakery that I like. Like, it's, like, more savory than it is fruity. That's what I get. Mmm. So, if I had it known any better, I wouldn't have made doubt that the fruits in here are raspberry and peach. I just get, like, a super yummy bakery. And, I, and it's just... It's, like, buttery. Mm. Yeah, but I can definitely see that that's raspberry, peach... Macaroon. I think I like rasp. I'm not a really huge fan on raspberry. But I find certain ones that I like. I like this one. It's blended with peach, but it's not overly fruity or, or sweet. It definitely gives, like, the macaroon a boost of, like, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain it, but I really like that. I would consider this for future pur purchases. North Pole. So this one is little teddy bears. You guys are amazing. Yeah, I did. I get like a creamy mint, vanilla minty off of this. It's not such a sharp mint. It's very creamed out by vanilla. Mmm, delicious. Pink apple punch. Yeah, this reminds me of the Bath and Body Works type. I have it in the room spray. It's pretty strong. I get like this apple, very sweet apple. It's fruity. Like it's like an apple punch, like melee of fruits, but apple is the foremost fruit note I get. It's very sweet. I like that. It's very strong on the fold. Eggnog, yes, I love eggnog. Little gingerbread man. Oh, she has a great eggnog. Oh, I love that. I'm not sure what I'm smelling, but it smells like a yummy, slightly spicy drink. That's like really yummy, creamy spicy drink. That's what I'm getting. That's really nice. I like that. Lavender. Can't go wrong with lavender. I, I am a fan of lavender and it has two little butterflies. Okay, so yeah, her lavender I would say is herbal but also floral. No, yeah. It's a floral That's what floral, a little herbally lavender. Not so sweet. But what can you get from lavender? That's really nice. I like your lavender. It's very it's like a floral herbal lavender. I like it. It's kind of smooth to me. And then there's this haichu candy. I should probably hide this from my kids, but I won't. It's okay. I'll share it with them. They've been they've been good. Oh, there's our business card. Case. And it says, handcrafted 
highly scented wax melts. Carla Meredith. Oh, sorry, I don't want to say it wrong. Carla Meredith and her email is kmouse at gmail.com. And then you can find her on Facebook. Uh, you can send her emails and all that. Oh, okay. Let's get on to the main order. So I'm just going to... I don't know which box is which. I did order a lot of customs and I ordered a lot of clams. Oh, this... Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Hold on. Oh gosh. Let me just... Oh, I can smell coffee already. One of these boxes has coffee. Let me just go with the one that I can smell. Coffee, which is this one. Yeah. It smells like coffee. I don't know what I did with my little cutter. My little blade. My handy dandy knife. My little cutter. Where are you? Found him. Okay. Oh, man. I haven't tried this before. This is my first time, first nips, first impressions. And right off the bat, I feel like they take really good care of their customers. Really. And yeah, they've been swamped with a lot of orders. Kind of, they keep us uh, posted on Facebook of the updates. And yeah, we can just tell they've just been working hard. But this is so beautiful. Let me show you. Okay. Oh, this feels like I'm unwrapping like a huge gift. Like, yeah, we bought this, but oh, you can see the detailing and the care and the packaging. It's so beautiful. It's like I'm sitting right here unwrapping gifts. <laughs> like gifts. It's so beautiful. And it says, thank you for your order. Just carefully take the sticker out. Oh, my word. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you guys what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Oh, that's like that's my bathroom. But look at that. It says my name, Haleyan, and in it is Denton Dawn. That's the first box. Okay, that is so beautiful. What a sight to behold. A bunch of wax goodies. Let me just go on back. Oh. Okay. What a sight to behold. That was so... Oh. Let's get into it. So these are my customs, I see. But I do see a couple of clamshells in here. So let's go with these clamshells. First one here is Desert Oasis. It's a house blend. This was from Danny. I remember. It was her blend. Her YouTube channel will be right there. I remember that I wanted to try this. This is a Swedish Dream Salt Hibiscus, Palm Leaves and Cedar Wood. Something I, I liked and would enjoy. Mmm. Okay. So definitely get like floral. Yeah, I'm not the best at describing scents, but I definitely get like floral. A bit of sea salt. Yeah, this is so well blended that I just get like a nice, fresh, clean, kind of like a spa scent. That's what I get. It's good. I'm glad to try this. We'll have to try that. Let's see. Pop out. Our, oh, it pops out just so easily. Yeah, that's good. It's like salty, aquatic, floral scents. That's good. Good job, Danny. I mean, a lot of the... I watch her videos, and she posts a lot on her Facebook group, and a lot of her blends just sound so good. Like, I can't go wrong. Goblin It Up is a house blend. Caramelized pralines, pumpkin souffle, and cornbread. Yeah, some of these customs were made from customers' blends. And she ended up adding it to her um, inventory. But if I have the names of their YouTubers and whatnot, I'll just put it on the screen. Put it up there so they can get the credit. Hmm. Yeah, I get caramelized pralines, but I 
and cornbread. I don't really detect the pumpkin souffle. I really get like it. So if there is pumpkin souffle, it's not a spicy pumpkin scent. It must be like a creamy pumpkin scent because this is very creamy. I get caramelized pralines. It's a little caramelly, a little savory with the cornbread. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to smell at pumpkin souffle, but it's the, this pumpkin souffle is not a spicy pumpkin. It's very creamy. Okay, those are my two clams out of what? Okay, I'm just going to say it. 70, 70 clam shells. Okay, guys. Okay, I see I I see my customs here. This first one is strawberry pound cake, powdered donuts, and marshmallow fireside. Okay, so I think I saw Candice on Facebook. She was mentioning some of the blends that she was thinking about when she was a plate when she was going to place her order, and I think this is one of them. Yeah, I definitely get strawberry pound cake, but it's not so strawberry pound cake heavy. You just know that it's there. A hint of marshmallow fireside. Mostly get a strawberry pound cake and marshmallow fireside. I'm not sure if I'm getting donuts, but I get those two, and they actually they actually make a great they make a great combo. Yeah, I like that. Transitioning, this makes it like a, almost like a fall-like scent. Okay. Hay rides and haunts. This is apple cider donut. Perfect autumn and fall in leaves. I had to try this when uh, Danny mentioned it. Also in one of her hauls on Facebook, but this is Jay Alford's blend. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, yes, definitely check out his channel. He does great, amazing videos. They're so relaxing, so soothing. And he just comes up with like the ultimate blends. I'm not, I don't know how he does it. He's just a genius. But this is one of his blends. And I wanted to try it. Hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. Hmm. I definitely get like apple cider. But then I also get like, like I'm outside and, and I smell leaves outdoor. I get leaves, I get apple cider. Oh, this is so good. It's like fresh, it's outdoorsy, it's apple cider. And don't know what perfect autumn is. Well, I mostly get like apple cider in an outdoor setting with like, like leaves, like fallen leaves. Overlook Hotel. I remember this. This was also, oh, I wish I had my notes. I, I took notes on, like, these blends and who created them. This is a house blend. This is Jack Frost, Winter Linen, and Palo Santo. I've seen Danny haul this, but I think this blend was created by, if I'm not mistaken, Lacey Klein, I think is her name. She has a YouTuber. Uh, she's a YouTuber. And also check her channel out. She does amazing videos. <laughs> I think this was her blend, and this has sounded like something I would love. So I did get like 16 ounces of this. Mmm. So this is minty. I do get a little hint of linen, but it's not such a strong laundry scent. I get a little mint, a little linen. I'm trying to see if I can find the Palo Santo in there. No, yeah, it's too well. It's very well blended. I definitely get Jack Frost. I get the winter linen. And I'm not really getting Palo Santo. But I like this. I like this. This is nice and refreshing. This is great for the bedroom. I did get two, two of these. Yeah, Overlook Hotel. Oh, this was my last second change. Purple Sandalwood, Boom Boom, and Palo Santo. 
that I had to get a combination of these three. And yeah, it definitely reminds me of why I wanted this custom. Mm, yeah, so it's it's a little woodsy, masculine a little bit. <sighs> Palo Santo. Mmm. It's a good balance between woodsy and masculine, but it's not overly masculine. It's definitely um, balanced with the boom boom. Makes it a little more body care. That's great. Blue sugar, palo santo, and toasted marshmallow. If you don't know, I love blue sugar blends. Wanted to try this. And this marbling is beautiful. Let me pull one out. Oh, yes. This reminds me. Mmm. Yeah, I get blue sugar and marshmallow. And fireside? Is there a fireside in... No, it's Palo Santo. Whoops. Yeah, I definitely get marshmallow, blue sugar, and Palo Santo. This is beautifully blended. I'm glad I... Glad I tried this. One of my favorite combinations of blue sugar blends is this type of combination. Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. Yeah, I get Palo Santo, I get cookie, and I get a little bit of marshmallow. That's what I get. Straightforward blend. Bonfire Bliss, Pumpkin Souffle, and Fallen Leaves. I think I saw a Facebook post on this. And I wanted to try it. It sounded something that I would like for fall. Well, that is beautiful. Mmm. Oh, that pumpkin souffle. I want to see if I can hunt that smell. I did get a clam of it too, but it's a very creamy bakery. Mmm, pumpkin souffle. It's like I'm getting like with the meat of the pumpkin. And it's been like mm, such a the meat of the pumpkin that's been cooked and baked. I then I get a hint of fallen leaves and a little bit of there's a little charred aspect to this. I think that's some bonfire bliss. That's actually good. That's great for the fall. Let's try that for fall. Sugar Cookie Royale, Cashmere Cedar, and Marshmallow Fireside. That's beautiful. And that is beautiful. Mmm. Sugar Cookie Royale, Cashmere Cedar, Marshmallow Fireside. It's difficult to describe these things, but I definitely get a very woodsy. Almost caramely aspect to this. Mm. Yeah. Like a very woodsy caramely aspect. I get marshmallows. And it's just sweetened up by like sugar cookie royale. That's great. That's beautiful. Great job, Carla and Connie. Pink Chiffon Sugar Cookie Royale Marshmallow Fireside. Yeah, there's a pattern to this. I have a lot of Marshmallow Fireside Sugar Cookie Blends. Mm. Yeah, definitely get like a hint of Pink Chiffon. Brings like a soft feminine touch to this. Mm, it's a little light, but I definitely get pink chiffon and a little sweetness by the Sugar Cookie Royale. Not really getting marshmallow fireside, but that is great. And these are freshly poured on Blueberry Hill House Blend Vanilla Butter Fudge Blueberry Cobbler and Zucchini Bread. Um, if I can find who created this, it's her name is probably going to pop on to this screen. 
If not, it could have been a house friend from Carla herself. Mm, that's beautiful. I get blueberry cobbler and zucchini bread. Yeah. Mostly I get is blueberry cobbler and zucchini bread. That's great. Snow angels. This is a house blend. Don't know by who. Could be from Carla or from a customer. If I have her name, I'll probably pop it in the screen. Blue sugar, mint candy, and butter cookies. Mmm, that is wonderful. The blue sugar is not that detectable. I mostly get as mint candies. Hint of blue sugar. It's that, that. Mmm, that's good. And like cookie. Mostly get as some mint, hint of cookie, and ever so hint of blue sugar. We Three Kings. This is. What is this? This is Marshmallow Fireside, Blue Sugar, and Palo Santo. Oh, okay. This is a little extra touch to this one, too. I could see glitter. Mmm, nice. Yeah, I love this blend. Definitely get Marshmallow Fireside and Blue Sugar and Palo Santo. This is delicious. I like this. This is good. I'll have to get an 8 ounce bag of it. I like that. Cafe Latte. Roasted coffee, cream, coconut, rolled oats, and maple sugar. Love my coffee scents. And I think this is what I was smelling through outside the box. Beautiful coffee scent. I get so I'm not an expert or specializing the differences of coffee scents. I just know if it smells like coffee or not to my nose. That's all. That's that's it. But I definitely get like a creamy coffee. Mm. It's like a creamy coffee and a hint of oats, like rolled oats. That's what I get. That's lovely. I like that. Espresso, dark roast coffee, beans, vanilla cream, and sugar. Yes, I wanted to try just the plain coffee scents. That is dark roast. Very roasty coffee. Yeah, it smells roasted. Like, like not a really sweet. It's like, almost like the bitterness of the coffee. Dark roast coffee. Vanilla cream and sugar. Yeah, definitely getting coffee beans off of this. Espresso. It's not very sweet. This was a lot more sweeter coffee. And this is like that dark roast coffee beans. Okay, that's good. Through the woods. Peppermint stick, Fraser fur, sugar cookie blend. I will pop it in the screen if I know her name. Beautiful. Getting minty, straight up, strong mint. Getting trees. Mm, I'm not entirely sure if I'm getting cookies, but it's sweetened out by something. So you sweeten out. Love that. Through the woods. Love it. Okay, so this one is a custom. Espresso powdered donuts and marshmallow fireside. Okay, interesting. Wow, her espresso oil is a little bit different than I imagined. I thought these vendors would like like that espresso oil was just shared throughout the vendors, but I'd say hers is a little different. It's very dark roast coffee bean. Mm, reminds me, okay, so the espresso is definitely overtaking this blend. I definitely mostly get is espresso. I'm not getting marshmallow fireside. But I'll let this one cure. Powdered donuts. Marshmallow fireside. Palo Santo. Goodness. I just... A lot of my customs with powdered donuts, it seems. 
Hmm. I'm getting much more fireside in Palo Santo. Oh, that's hotter donut. Adds a little bit of a bakery aspect to it. It's like the. It's not so much so sweet to my nose. It's like a. It's like a. Like a fried bread scent. Oh, okay. Slightly sweet. Powder donut. Fried donuts, and I definitely get marshmallow fireside and Palo Santo. This is great. I love this one. This is good. Sweet on Paris, strawberry pound cake, and vanilla birch. Mmm. Okay, so her sweet on Paris is good. I'm definitely getting mostly is sweet on Paris, not really getting strawberry pound cake. And the vanilla birch is ever so hints in the background. Like this. County Fair and Apple Fireside. So this is something I've totally made up. And Apple Fireside is Macintosh, Apple, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. Let's take a sniff here. Yeah, I've never had our County Fair on its own, but I definitely get Caramel Apple. I'm definitely getting the, the County Fair. I'm getting like a sweet apple too. Mm. I'm not sure if I'm getting apple fireside. I think the County Fair is overtaking this one, but I did say 30, go 30% 30 on apple fireside. But if I were to do this combo again, I'll probably make it up the apple fireside. I'm, I was going for a little bit of smoky, sweet County Fair scent. Oh, yeah, good. Pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, salty sea air. Ooh. I never had this combination before, but it's because of Natalie, uh, Jersey Shore Living. I will up put her updated channel name as of today. She had this in one of her fall collection videos. Oh, man, this is good. I'm definitely getting pumpkin pecan waffles like that super yummy duck at it bakery. Then, but then it's rounded up by like freshness of the salty sea air. I'm not sure if I'm getting Palo Santo. I'm mostly getting it's the salty sea air pumpkin pecan waffles and... That's actually a really good combination. I like that. Wow. That is good. Strawberry jam, zucchini bread, banana nut bread. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, so I like her strawberry jam. Definitely getting strawberry jam, but it's not so sweet. I get a little bit of zucchini bread. I'm not sure if I'm getting banana nut bread. The strawberry jam is overtaking this blend, and there's an ever so hint of zucchini bread. Okay, yeah, I get I get a little hint of banana nut bread. It's like a very, it's not an artificial banana it's to my nose. It's very creamy and bakery. I like that. Sugar Cookie Royale Palo Santo. Beach night. A lot of these customs I've been inspired or copied from the Facebook page. And so thank you. Thank you for the inspiration. Mmm. I'm getting Palo Santo. I'm getting sugar cookies. And I'm getting like a beach night. Like it's a beachy, a little salty sea air. A little s'mores like. That's great. I like that. I'm getting like beach night cookies. Ooh, I don't know what custom this is, but that is beautiful. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, custom is leaves, toasted marshmallow, and bonfire bliss. Yes, for the fall time. Mmm. Mm, I'm getting leaves.
leaves mostly. And I'm getting like Bonfire Bliss and a hint of Marshmallow. I'm mostly getting is like leaves. That's good for the fall. Cell Dimmer Gold Sugar Boom Boom. Beautiful honey color. And then there's the back. So I never had our Silda Mer scent. Oh, like a perfumey, salty scent. I'm not getting Boom Boom. Mostly Polly is getting this, or oh, it could be Gold Sugar that I'm also getting. Like a slightly salty, perfumey scent. That's what I'm getting. And it's giving me aquatic vibes, too. Mm, okay, I like that. How about that melt it in the bedroom? It's actually fresh, too. Fresh. And clean. Slightly perfumey. It's a little sweet. Enter Sandman and Blue Sugar. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting the blue sugar here. And it's like a minty, sweet scent. And then blue sugar. Mm, love it. That was so yummy. Great for the bedtime. I forgot what Enter Salmon is, but I'll probably post the, the scent notes over there. Lord of Misrule, Tobacco Vanilla, and Marshmallow Fireside. Okay. Ooh, I like. Hmm. I never had Lord of Misrule in its own, but I'm definitely getting Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco Vanilla, Lord of Misrule. <sighs> I like this a lot. Oh, I can't explain. It's like sweet, like caramelly sweet, or is it marshmallow sweet? And then tobacco. I don't know. It's just nice, earthy, caramely sweet scent that I'm getting. I love it. Lord of Miss Roll, Tobacco Vandel, and Marshmallow Fireside. Cider Lane, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Blackberry. Hmm, I'm getting Blackberry. Ooh, and a little like a hint of caramel apple. Very sweet and out. And then a hint of like sh sweet cookies. This is great. That's a wonderful combination. If you want like a different take on Cider Lane, that's great. Cider Lane, Blackberry Sugar Cookie Roll. I would probably con repurchase, consider repurchasing that. Okay, last one here. Cider Lane, Powdered Donuts and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Ooh, 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 love the Cider Lane blends. Love them so much. And so I get Cider Lane. And it's like a toasty, toasty, caramelly apple scent. And there's a hint of cinnamon. Oh, no, it's not cinnamon. It's like a bakery spice. And then the pumpkin pecan waffles adds like a nice bakery aspect to this i can i am loving these two right here these cider lane blends i would recommend if you like cider lane i'd recommend those two those are really good i think that was all my customs if i'm not mistaken okay i'm back from my much needed bathroom break let's go move on to the next box oh right here these are my clammies, my clamshells. Okay, let's open this. Oh, yes, I didn't do that.
Wow. I love these messages in the box. It just jumps at me and it surprises me in such a good way. I was startled, but in a good way. Okay, let's open this together, shall we? Let's, ooh, I feel bad. Um, I feel bad ripping this, but nope, I didn't. That's a beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lots of time shows to get through, guys. This one here is bourbon and butterscotch. Bath and Body Works type. This is butterscotch, bourbon, and sweet vanilla. Love my bourbon scents. Love this scent. Beautiful butterscotch. Okay, I'm not sure what bourbon is supposed to smell like, but I, I'm getting butterscotch. Beautiful butterscotch scent. Mmm, sweet butterscotch scent. Autumn Crunch, Apple Caramel, Zucchini Bread, Pumpkin, Peanut Brittle. Autumn Crunch. Oh, this is... I'm definitely getting pumpkin, peanut brittle, some apple. I'm trying to see if I can find the Zucchini Bread. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting is the uh, apple caramel and a hint and the pumpkin peanut brittle. Such a savory apple caramel blend. Holiday Drive, Fraser Fur Espresso and Bake Shop. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm getting I'm, I'm getting the Fraser Fur. The espresso, it's like that dark roast coffee beans, espresso, Fraser fur. What else is in here? Bake shop. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, I'm getting Fraser fur and espresso. Fallen leaves, cinnamon, berries, pecans, cedarwood, and green leaves. break these clamshells. Beautiful marbling effect. Oh, I like fallen leaves. Slightly spicy. I'm not getting like like the leaves of a tree. I'm getting like this spicy scent. Mm, it's not like a cinnamon spice and like pepper. It's like a pepper spice. And oh that what am I saying? There's cinnamon in here. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. What's in here? And I'm getting... I guess what I'm getting is the pecan cedar wood. There's a little bit of masculine note here. Okay, that's good. I like that. Um, yeah. Fallen leaves. Sweet on Paris. Blackberry, lemon cream, vanilla, butter fudge. Beautiful. Mm, I love sweet on Paris. Yeah, it's lemon, blackberry. But they blend so well together. It's like not nauseating to me at all. That's I love that scent. Sweet on Paris. I might prefer this very much more so than pink sugar. It's like a sweet blackberry lemon. I love this. I really love that. Banana bake, banana nut bread, banana flambe, and zucchini bread. I'm getting very sweet bananas. Like artificial bananas. And then I'm also getting like bread. Like banana nut bread. And artificial Sweet bananas, that's what I'm getting. Like the banana taffy. Banana break. Haunted house season. Fallen leaves, apples, clove, and pumpkin pecan waffles. This is Danny's blend. This is good. Mmm, so 
Now I'm getting apple cider. I'm getting the fallen leaves scents. Mmm. That's good. There is a hint of bakery to it. Pumpkin pecan waffles. This is good. I like that. Haunted house. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's move along. Uh, there's a no another haunted house season. I I knew I was going to like that scent, so I wanted to get... I, I have duplicates of scents in here. That was one of it. Cabin in the Woods, House Blend, White Pumpkin, Amber, and Fireside. Ooh, this is a little smoky. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting it like that smoky. Like, there's leather in here. Like, it reminds me of, like, the crackling fire scent with that, like... Like, it's like... Like, hickory smoky, like... I'm getting that. Is that fire side? I'm, okay, I'm mostly getting his fire side. I'm not sure if I'm getting the other ones here. I'm mostly getting his fire side, and then just, like... Like scents revolving around that. That's what I'm getting mostly. I'm not getting the light pumpkin. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's good. Hmm. That's hard to explain, uh, but it's like a very smoky. And then there's like a hint of white pumpkin. And then there's amber. Sorry, not too good in my details. Moose Munch. Okay, so this is a house blend. This is caramel, corn, pretzel, and toasted marshmallow. I know I grabbed two of these. There's another one in here somewhere. This is good. I'm getting like a very caramel bakery. Not straight up caramel, it's like. Mmm, this is a nice caramel. It's like not so heavy. It's a little sweetened and lightened up with some of the other what's in here. Caramel corn, pretzel, and toasted marshmallow. Mmm, yeah, it's like sticky sweet caramel. That's what I'm getting. That's good. That is good. Wicker man, cashmere cedar and vanilla birch. How do you like focus so well? There we go. Oh, there we go. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, I'm definitely getting is the cashmere cedar. It's like a to me to my nose, it's like almost. It's a very sweet woods woodsy scent. Almost that's like. The vanilla birch sweetening it up. Mm, I like this. Like a very sweet, car slightly even caramelly woodsy scent. I like that. Good there, man. Danny's Hearth. Another blend from Danny. Lavender, crackling fire, mac apple, marshmallow fireside, and palo santo. Oh, it's blurry now. Oops, sorry. Oh, this is wonderful. I would definitely repurchase this. I'm getting, like, lavender. I'm getting apple. But it's not so sweet. I mean, the apple does sweeten it, but I'm getting lavender sweetened up by apple. And there's something smoky to this. Is there fireside? Yeah, I think I'm getting the fireside in here. Oh, crackling fire, yeah. The crackling fire and the fireside smell very similar to me. My nose. I love this one. I wish I'd gotten this in a bigger size. Danny's hurt. Amazing. Up oh, my alley. Winter linen, cashmere, sandalwood, and musk, orange blossom, citrus, and floral.
Ooh, I like this. Yeah, definitely getting like linen, but it's not such a strong laundry. No, it's just there. But it's like that light, the light laundry scent. Wait, nope. I think I'm smelling it. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of musk. It's a little heavy. That's a linen. I wanted to try it on its own because it's one of the blends in Overlook Hotel. And I wanted to see what that on its own would smell like. Haydenfield. Sandalwood vanilla, pumpkin souffle, and fallen leaves. Excited to smell this one. Ooh. Yeah, that pumpkin souffle must... There's something a little bakery to this to my nose. That is probably the pumpkin souffle. I'm getting ever so hint of fallen leaves. It's like that spicy outdoorsy scent. And a little bit of sandalwood vanilla. That is wonderful. I like that. Hate and feel. Mmm, that's yummy. Succulent strawberry, Yankee Thai, strawberry, tart red currants, vanilla, and sugar. I wanted to try her strawberry scent. She offers a lot of strawberry scents, oils, and I wanted to try which, what were the differences between it. Mmm, oh, this is good. This reminds me like, of like strawberry jam. Oh. I get the tart red currant too. It's like a tart strawberry jam. Fresh picked strawberry, Bath and Body Works type. Ripe strawberries with a touch of juicy citrus. Yeah, so this strawberry is not so sweet. Mmm. This reminds me of. I wouldn't say that this was like a strawberry fruit, like realistic strawberry fruit, like you just plucked it off. And to me, it's not, um, definitely reminds me of, this one reminds me of like a strawberry candy, which, um, which is good. I like strawberry candies. Like it smells like a yummy strawberry candy to me. Fresh picked strawberry. Strawberry jam, strawberries, and vanilla sugar syrup. Yeah, I'm definitely getting like the sweet condensed strawberry like strawberry syrup that's what i'm getting mm, that's good pumpkin loves coconuts coconut cream pie pumpkin cupcakes and cider lane this is a house blend oh glad i'm getting pumpkin i'm getting coconut hold on um yeah, it's like a nice, it's not overly bakery spicy pumpkin. You can tell this like, like pumpkin that's been baking with a hint of spice and coconut. I love this. Oh yes, and I'm also getting like the hint of caramel apple in the background. Cider Lane, I love this. Pumpkin pecan waffles, Bath and Body Works type. This is vanilla pumpkin and waffles, brown sugar, pecans, and cream. Mmm. Yeah, I'm getting like a very yummy pecan waffles. I'm not really getting pumpkin. I don't know if anyone detects pumpkin in this. Oh, but it's this very yummy pecan vanilla waffle. So good. I like that. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Pink frosted cake. This sweet strawberry frosted yellow cake. I have to move a little faster. I'm running out of batteries and um, storage too. Sorry. 
Mm, this is yummy. I'm getting like, I'm getting like a very sweet cake with a hint of strawberry. Very sweet cake. I like that. Oatmeal cookie. One spicy oatmeal cookie. Mmm. Yeah, that's an oatmeal cookie. Mmm, that is yummy. It's, it's basically what I'm getting is like a spicy baked cookie with hints of oatmeal. Ooh, that is yummy. Oatmeal cookie. Morning beignets. Warm fried dough rolled in sugar. It's a little light. Yeah, I'm getting like that fried dough. Mmm. Like a very creamy, vanilla, sugary fried dough. That is delicious. Mmm. Morning beignets. Pumpkin sugar donuts, bath and body works. Pumpkin donuts rolled in sugar and spice. Mmm. Okay, the, the top is light. Kind of light, but... I'm getting pumpkin. Like a sugary pumpkin donut. That's what I'm getting. Pumpkin sugar donut. Maple, apples and maple bourbon. Apple, maple, butter, bourbon, vanilla, spice, and hint of orange. Ooh, this is good. I'm getting like freshly cut apples. Mmm, and a hint of orange. Oh. I'm getting apple, maple, a hint of orange. And there's something creamy about this, a vanilla. Mmm, oh wow, that's good. I like this. I love that. Bonfire Bliss, Dried Leaves, Smoky Woods, Toasted Mallow, and Sweet Vanilla. Bonfire Bliss. I, know, I think I grabbed multiples of this. Ooh, yes. Mmm. I'm getting like a creamy vanilla. Uh, oh, is that sweet vanilla? A little bit of marshmallow, and it's a little smoky. Mmm. I'm glad I got, got this. I think I did grab two of those. Ooh, pumpkin souffle. Pumpkin butter, sugar, cinnamon, and spice. Oh, her pumpkin souffle is good. It's like this buttery pumpkin. Like a baked buttery pumpkin. So there is a hint of spice, but it's not so bad. It's very creamy. Mmm. That is good. Pumpkin souffle. I like that. Bonfire Bliss. Dry leaves, smoky woods, twisted mallow, and fallen leaves. That's what it looks like. There's the back. Mmm. Love it. Yeah, it's like I get toasty marshmallow, too. Okay, new one. Tobacco, leaf, and amber. Tobacco, warm honey, citrus, and spice. Ooh. Okay, this is good. I'm getting to... Okay, I don't smoke. I don't even know what, like... I don't think I even smell what tobacco leaves are, but if I were to guess... What a nice earthy. This is very sweet. Earthy. Mmm. Tobacco. Yep. I like it. I love my tobacco scent. Strawberry white cake. Vanilla cake and sweet strawberries. Yes. This is good. This is very strong. It reminds me like... Like strawberry jam, that's what it reminds me of. Strawberry white cake, like that. Soleil, Bl Soleil, Soleil Blanc, Blanc. 
comfort type orange blossom lemon bergamot and C. Mmm. Smells like a nice beachy lotion. I like that. This light, fresh beachy lotion. I like that. Sounds good. Prince Albert Fresh Leaf with Tobacco, Vanilla, Brown Sugar, and Mahogany. I love tobacco. This is like a nice sweet tobacco scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely get the, like the, the like earthiness tobacco leaf and then it's like sweetened up by brown sugar, uh, vanilla. I like that mahogany. Okay. Strawberry cupcakes, vanilla cupcakes, strawberries, and whipped cream. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. Uh, it smells like strawberry cupcakes. Like, it reminds me of like strawberry box mix cupcakes. That's what I'm getting. I like it. It's good. Palo Santo. Woods from the Palo Santo tree, woody and slightly spicy. I wanted to try her. Oh, ooh, this is a good. Oh, I like a Palo Santo. It's woodsy. It is slightly spicy. Mmm. I like it. Palo Santo. My dear Watson, bergamot, suede, cedar, leather, and mint. This is Sensi type. Ooh, I like it. It is masculine. But it's like a very calming masculine scent. It's a little powdery. Powdery, little soapy masculine scent. I like that. Library, teak wood, leather, cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, and musk. Library. I will say this smells like I'm smelling like the wooden shelves of the library. I'm not getting like like fresh book scent. It smells like like the wooden shelves of the library, which I like. I like that. It smells like it smells good. It's very earthy, woodsy scent. I like it. Rose jam, lush type, which is strawberry jam, apple peony petals, and vanilla bean. I, I love rose jam. I first smelt it from a healthy Rexy Wonders rose jam, and I wanted to just try it on its own. Case offers, mmm, love it. It's like a sweet rose jammy scent. Not overly powdery to my nose. Very sweet rose jam. I like that. Headache Soother House Blend, Crisp Peppermint and Cooling Eucalyptus. Headache Soother, I did get two of these. Love it, love it, love it. It's that nice minty, nice fresh minty scent. I get peppermint and cooling eucalyptus, which I love. I got two of these and I'm glad I did. For those days where I feel like I just need to slow down and unwind. Blue fluffy pillows, blue lavender, palmarosa, and toasted marshmallow. House blend. Oh, this is beautiful. Like, it is sweet for some reason. Sweet lavender. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm not what, sure what palmarosa is. Getting like the sweet lavender. Slightly floral. And ever so hints of like toasted marshmallow. I like that. I'm glad I got two of those. Oops. 
Yes, I'm glad I got two of those. That's great. Holiday drive. I got another one. I did get two of these. Mm, yeah, it's just like espresso and tree scents. I like that. <laughs> Jazz club. Tobacco leaf and amber. Sandalwood and Egyptian musk. This is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely picking out that tobacco leaf and amber. It's like that slightly sweet, almost caramelly um tobacco scent. That's mostly what I'm getting. Maybe ever so hints of amber. Jazz club. Relax house blend, which is chamomile, lavender, and sweet mint. Beautiful scent. Minty. Lavender and chamomile. The lavender is like mm, herbally lavender. And then chamomile um, rounds it out a bit. Jet Set Janet House Blend, Swedish Dream Salt, Black Opium, and Caress Soap. Oh, I like this one. Very soapy. This is a very soapy scent, and I like it. It reminds me, yeah, it smells like Caress Soap. A very soapy, clean scent. Sir Charles House Blend, Prince Albert Tobacco, Library and Barbershop, 1920s. Okay. Smells like a clean, masculine, soapy scent. Sir Charles is pretty good. I like that. Okay. Bourbon, tobacco, cedarwood, tobacco, taco bean, and bourbon. Let me see how my battery is on right now quickly. Okay. Mmm. I'm getting a tobacco. Maybe tonka bean. And like a, I guess, bourbon scent. Bourbon tobacco. It's a good earthy, warm scent. Good for the fall. Spa weekend. Lemon blossoms. White tea, black currant, and sandalwood. I think I got two of these. Love my tea scent. Yes, I love this. It smells. It smells like um. Like I'm in a spa, it, it also smells soapy too, like a clean, light, airy soap. That's what I'm getting, spa weekend. And there's another one. Midnight water, bergamot, orange, lemon, blue lily, patchouli, and seaweed. I think I'm getting patchouli, it's like very earthy. I'm getting hints of citrus. <sighs> and, and seaweed. I don't know. There's, I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm definitely picking up patchouli. It's a little citrusy and a little aquatic. Something aquatic about this. In the night waters. That's good. Bell Demer, Salty Ocean Breeze, Palm Orange Peel, Ember, and Musk. Ooh, I like Bell Demer. I'm getting like salty, clean, slightly sweet scent. So it's like, mmm, it's very sweet. It smells like shampoo. Mmm, I like that. Salty Ocean Breeze, Palm Orange Peel, Amber, and Nuts. I like that. 
Sky Zone, Gingered Bergamot, Summer Breeze, and Ivory. Sorry, I'm in a rush. There's a lot to get through. Ooh, this looks very soapy. Like a very clean soap. It smells like ivory soap. I get like a very clean uh, soap scent. I like that. Tonka and Oud. Amaretto, Tonka bean, musk rum, and sweet Oud. I think this is my first Amaretto scent. Mmm. I'm getting like an almond liqueur. I'm getting like rum, hints of almond, and maybe a little bit of food, but it's not smoky. It's like sweet. Wild air, mint, fern, dungrass, musk, and cedar. Wild air. This is so earthy. Wow, I'm getting dirt. Is that dungrass and fern? What is that? It's like, like it's a little minty. It smells like grass. That's what it smells like. It smells like grass. Wow, that's that's trippy. It's, it smells like like I'm smelling like earth. Like I'm digging my nose into like dirt and grass. That's what I'm getting off of this wild air. Bourbon and butterscotch. There's my second one. Tristan's toffee coffee, house blend, hazelnut coffee, chocolate drizzled coffee. This is delicious. Mm, I'm getting hazelnut coffee. It's not like dark roast. Mmm, that is delicious. It's like a sweet coffee. Which is wart? Pumpkin, pecan, waffles, candy corn, and coffee. House blend. Definitely getting pumpkin, pecan, waffles. Feeding it about by candy corn. And I have very, very so hint of coffee. That's good. 24. 543, which is a lush type. Lime, lemongrass, vanilla, tonka bean, and yuling yuling. I like this. Reminds me of like, like Able Bath. It's like that clean, citrusy, soapy scent. I like that. Oh, speaking of which, Able Bath, lush type. Lemongrass, bergamot, and citrus. Yeah, it reminds me of the the 2543. What is the difference? This has lime, lemongrass, vanilla, tonka bean. This has lemongrass, bergamot, and citrus. It's like a very light citrusy soap that I like. Homer's Habit. This is a house blend. Powder, donut, sugar cookie, sugar, waffle cone, and cronut. Beautiful. Beautiful glitter. Okay, I'm definitely getting a vanilla scent here. This what I'm smelling mostly is the powdered donut. It smells like fried dough vanilla scent. Mmm. I suppose what I'm mostly getting is probably her powdered donut scent. I did get two of those. Lego, my eggnog, house blend, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, pumpkin, caramel, and eggnog. Oh, I love this. That is a delicious eggnog, pumpkin, pecan concoction. Super good. I love her eggnog. Mm -mm -mm. I love this one. 
Moose Munch, another one I love. Moose Munch. Powdered donuts. Okay. Deep fried dough rolled in confectioner sugar. Okay, let's see what this smells like on its own. Yeah. I can see where I can smell this in the blends. It is like that fried donut rolled in like powdered sugar. Confectioner sugar. Strawberry bread, warm bakery, vanilla strawberry, and hint of spice. Oh, I like this. Mm, it's like that strawberry, uh, sweet, sweet strawberry and bread. Cup of Kringle, mint chocolate chip, espresso, and sugar waffle cone. Mm, it's like minty. It's like slightly coffee scent. It's like a minty coffee scent. Um, and then slightly sweet with the sugar waffle. It's like a that's good cup of Kringle, hazelnut coffee, medium roast coffee, and rich hazelnut. This I like. Yeah. It's like medium roast and a little sweetened and a little nutty with the hazelnut. That is good. I like that. Jack Frost, Yankee type. A cool crisp blend of mints and a whisk of vanilla. Mmm, yeah. This is what I smell in Overlook Hotel blend. It's like a very crispy, uh, minty vanilla scent. Very creamy. North Pole, crisps, peppermint, and sweet vanilla. Okay, this one is not so much on the peppermint. It's mostly that creamy vanilla is the forefront. And then it's like very, very subtle hint of mint. Sugared spruce, spruce, cedar, moss, balsam, vanilla sugar, and caramel butter. I'm excited for this. It's a tree scent, and I like it based on the notes here. Mmm, this definitely is a sugary, sweet tree scent I love. Would also purchase this in the future. Okay, white birch, crisp eucalyptus, cypress, and sweet tonka beans. Love this. White birch, very tree. Tree scent, but it's not so sharp. It's very creamy. It's like a trimmy pine scent. Mm, I think the sweet tonka bean is rounding it out and making it like a smooth tree scent. And that I like. Okay, that was my entire purchase. Um, yeah, I had a lot to get through. So, but I just wanted to share with you all my wax goodies. What I got from the, mostly from the case scented um, wax melt uh, sale. And it was combined with a separate order. She ended up combining and i'm so thankful for that thank you carla thank you connie if you're watching you guys are phenomenal you are amazing and hardworking. thank you for getting these out the door with these large orders and hundreds to get through thank you so much i so far my first impressions are good i love the company the customer service everything the variety of scents she offers is a lot I like their house blends, it's really good. I like that they do customs, and if they aren't so swamped, their TAT isn't that bad. It's like a week. If they aren't swamped with so many orders, their TAT is good. Turnaround time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed watching all of your guys' K's hauls. And if you have uh, participated in any of our um, sales or have bought anything from K's I wonder what are your favorites I have a lot a couple of favorites from here already and it's just so much to get through but I do mention it when I sniff it uh, cold sniff first impressions that oh I love this then you can tell that it's probably something I would willing to purchase again in the future okay thank you for watching I hope you are well I hope you're having a wonderful day morning or night and the great rest of the week uh, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.